stronger, all right? In order for me to beat him, I have to beat him on position and motion, I'm not gonna beat him on athletic ability. Okay, now, here is why and here is how I circle back. All right, first off, let me say this. Is it acceptable for me to hit a double leg from this way? Is it acceptable for me to hit a double leg, drive up, go right across, and finish? Without question, absolutely, 100%, that is fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, without question. Here's why. I can't practice that. Because he's better than me. He's faster and stronger than me. You know what? When this guy's faster and stronger, I'm not going to be able to hit a double leg and get this deep and get this angle and get all the way to his left foot and be able to drive like that. I wish I could. That'd be nice. But he's faster. He's stronger. So when I hit this shot, he may sprawl. All right? He may get his legs back a little bit. So here's what happens. You guys practice that and that only. Double leg, get up your feet, drive right across. That's great when you're better than the guy. Okay? When this guy's better than me, here's what happens. I shoot a double leg. He sprawls. Sprawl. There. Now look. I can't drive from here. Even though I got to my feet, I can't drive. And this is what happens to you guys. You continue to go this way because you have no ability to go this way. And you know what? You get flattened underneath it. And instead of doing this, now I circle back. I circle my butt in front of his body. What happened was I put him right here to where we wanted to be, where it was easy to finish. You try to force a finish instead of taking what's there. All right? I circle back. What happens is, to keep himself balanced, he hops on his left foot. And he hops on his left foot, it makes it easy for me to step across his body, finish and drive. So I have the circle back motion in our base of motion to give me the ability to get this guy out of position in the event that I don't have the perfect shot, the perfect setup, or the perfect position when I take a double leg or single leg or head inside single, whatever the case may be. All right? If you're the fastest, strongest human being on the earth, you can just hit a shot and plow them right through. All right? But I told you, we're not going to practice that way because we're not that. All right? There's always someone out there faster or stronger than you. You may think, Coach, there's no way. I guarantee you there is at some point. It may take you until after college to see that guy, but you will see him. And now, you're not going to, at college level or after college, go back in time to when you're eight, nine years old and you change your habits. All right? Repeat good habits now. I hit my double leg. I go into him, and then I circle back. Look what happened. I circle back. All the weight went here. All his weight went to his left foot. That's what I want, and that's why I had to practice this. Into him, circle back. Into him, circle back. So all circling back is, is I take my body, I take my butt, I circle back in front of his hips. The same way I did on a head inside single. We did it this morning. We went into him, we circle back. Just like we were trying to dunk. I do it here from the double leg. I go into him, I circle back. All the weight goes here, helps me get a better angle, helps me drive across his hips. That's why we circle back, to get him in this position where we want. All right, now, I also had a lot of double legs that you guys are shooting at terrible angles, meaning this. My goal on a double leg, stay right there, don't move. My goal on a double leg, pretty generally, is to get to this angle, meaning this. I want to attack his hips this way. I want to go this direction, not this direction, and not this direction if I'm shooting a double leg. Here's why. If my head is right here, I'm going to lose. This is the wrong angle for a double leg. My left foot, my head needs to be the outside, and my shoulder's hitting him this direction. I'm going this way, okay? To do that, we like to here at Graham, at the state champ camp, circle to our left. Why? That's the way my head's going. That's the way my trail leg's going. Inside tight corner tight, I circle left. That's going to help me get my body to this position, you guys circle right, a lot of you. I didn't mention it, you just, that's why you did it. You circle this way, then you shot, you look like this. And now, your ability to drive across this direction, it's very slim. All right, you can't do it. You'll have to do this. Get up. So we're going to circle on our setup towards the inside tie, towards my left arm. Does that make sense? So, I hit a double leg. I drive up to my feet. I circle back to get all of his weight to his left foot. Does that make sense? Do I, will I always have to do it? No. Can I do it Everything in a practice scenario, in a developmental scenario, to ensure that if I'm going to get fed in the knee, I can get another safe one day. I gain nothing. You gain nothing by being someone who's better than you. What accomplishment is that? It's no accomplishment for me to wrestle with the air and beat him. He's an 8th grader. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. The accomplishment is for me to beat someone better than me. Same for you. That being said, I'm going to need proper technique. So you better have this type of skills. 
we do this rotate, we do this in insert back motion every single day. Every day. At Grand High School, Grand Middle School, the State Champ Camp, Team Jordan, Team Jordan Elite, every single thing we do associated with this camp for Grand High School, this motion is the core. Alright? It starts every single practice, every single level. Reason being, we need all of our athletes to have this. I came to this camp the same way you guys did. I'm not sure if I told you. When I used to wrestle, I had your age, I was decent. Beat some guys, lose some guys. Until I learned this motion, I didn't get consistent. This motion, into him, circle back. Gets you consistent. Okay? You need this. It's going to be more evident when we go to the high box or the head outside single. All right? You saw the ability to get the guy out of position using this with the football tackle with a dunk. All right, let's go to the double leg lift. Double leg lift. Most people think double leg lift. Thinking this. Thinking guy this way. This. Muscle metal. John Cena. All that kind of stuff. No. All right? I don't want to take Tanner this way. Okay? I take Tanner this way. Two things are happening. One, I'm giving this guy an opportunity to scramble. And two, I'm giving myself the, the chance I can slam it. And I don't want that. All right? My goal on a double leg lift is not this direction. It's this direction. I want to drive, stay right there. I want to drive across his hips. And hopefully you guys are hearing that a bunch this weekend. Football tackle, I want to cross his hips. I got all the way to his right foot. This time, on my double leg, I'm going to drive across his hips. I got all the way down his left foot. Making the finish easy. This way, hard. That's about your back. This way, you know what? It's going to be simple. Why I got all the weight there? Inside tie, collar tie. Inside tie, collar tie. Same setup, same shot. Circle. Keep all direction. Double leg. I drive my knee on my toe. I explode. I shoot my arms. Okay? I'm going to pull my elbows back in my stance too, by the way. Trail leg steps up. I go into him. Now, if I'm way better than I, I can probably drive right across the finish. We're not going to practice that way, though. We're going to circle back. I take my butt. I circle in front of his body. All the way's going to go to his left foot. Circle back. Now, all the way to his left foot, the finish is going to be easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to step. Notice, I didn't even do anything else but take, just take one step. I took one step. That one step is across his hips. Look at my foot. My foot's pointing across his hips. It's not pointing into his hips. I stepped across his body. All his weight is going this direction, the way I want, going towards his left hip. Now, I'm going to pop my hips, and this is where the lift comes in. I step. I pop my hips. See how my hips are going to come in? I'm going to pop, and as I pop my hips and lift them off the mat, I'm going to drive and repenetrate. Notice, by doing this motion, I never had to elevate or lift his, his right leg. It naturally comes outside my hips when I step across his body and my hips come in. I step, I pop, and I drop. As I finish, I drive my knee over my toe. I don't pick him up and set him down. I don't lunge, I drive. I drive my knee over my toe as I finish. Again, inside to my collar tie. Circle. Double leg. I go into him. I circle back. That's where I wanted to be. All the way right here. Step with my right foot. Notice I'm getting all the way on this foot right here. His right foot. Where's left foot? I'm sorry. Pop. And I drop. The entire time I'm in my stance. That's our double leg lift. JD and Tim. Inside tight collar tight double leg lift. Double leg. Good. Steve, what did he do? Circle back. Good. He knows it. Inside tight collar tie. Double leg. Circle back. Lift. Good. Probably getting that angle across. Easy for him to finish. Tanner. Shot of redemption. Double leg. Circle back. Good. These guys are still developing. But you saw this too. He chased both these guys just did this. I use them as an example, not to pick on them, but to show you how we all need to go. They all did this. And then change levels. It's like changing level direction at the same time. Again. Double leg, circle back. Good, nice lift. Perfect pressure across. Let's see it, Tanner. Circles. Double leg, circle back. Good. We got it? Let's do it. One, two, three. 